Hi, my name is Sebastian, an engineer from Neotis, and I'm going to show you how to automate the update of Neolod user path from a Selenium script. We'll work on a sample application which reports weather alert. Let's consider we have a Selenium script written in Java, stepping through my user workflow. The script first launches the browser and submits a new weather alert, specifying title, description, and location. Neotis provides a Selenium proxy driver, which allows you to reuse the Selenium script to create or update a Neolod user path. The same driver could be used as well during a load test to provide end-user experience metrics, but in this video we'll focus on the design part. The proxy driver has to be added in the Selenium script by referencing a Neolod library, here in the POM of my Maven project, and by instrumenting the code where the browser driver is instantiated. We can note as well few calls to the method start transaction, so Neolot can group several actions into a single business transaction. We can then execute this, this script passing an additional argument to call the Neolot design API, so Neolot can start recording and capture the traffic between the browser and the server. The driver is available for both Java and C Sharp languages, and is compatible with all Selenium-supported browsers. On Neolod, we can see the user path that was previously recorded by executing the Selenium script. After recording the script, Neolod automatically applied some framework rules to handle dynamic parameters, such as this UUID. Then, I variabilized some requests to make the user path more dynamic. I created variables and injected them here to customize the title and the content of my weather alert. Now, let's consider the weather alert application is updated to provide the ability to include image of the alert. I'm running now the new version of the Selenium script, so it can be recorded again in Neolod. Since the user already exists in the project, Neolod will update the original user path keeping variables extractors, think times, SLAs, validations, and any logical actions such as loops, conditions, or JavaScripts. As we can see, I've got two versions of my user path, the old and the new one, which contain the new step to post image, and all the design work previously done. Triggered from the Selenium script, the user path has been automatically updated without any user interaction. But let's see in detail how the user path update actually works. Neolod calculates matches between old and new recording. Elements matching are marked with a double arrow. All property configured will be retained in the new recording. New elements, which were in the initial recorded, are marked with a plus sign. and will be added. We can customize the matching threshold with a cursor. The higher the threshold is, the more matches will be found, but higher the risk to consider element as matches while they are new. The match percentage gives an indication on the discrepancy between the element of the two user paths. In this example, this percentage of match means that 96% of the elements contained in the updated user path matches an element in the original one. Using both Selenium script and user path update allowed us to automate the creation of new load user path and accelerate the maintenance. Thank you.